Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Kimmy Sims a Lot. I'm Kimmy, and today I'm going to be building Luke Steiner from Gilmore Girls. Uh, so, this is my very first YouTube video, and I decided that I would go ahead and build a diner in the recreation of Luke's diner from Gilmore Girls. It's always been one of my favorite shows, and this is actually a workable and ownable restaurant slash diner, um, all thanks to the Get to Work expansion pack, which is one of my favorites because I've always loved different games where you can own businesses and um, kind of time management games and things. So this just seemed, you know, sort of perfect for me. And um, it really reminds me of the Open for Business expansion pack from The Sims 2, and I loved that as well. Um, I made sure that uh, I got on Google Images and kind of looked things up for um, how the exact setup and layout and colors are for the Luke's Diner set and the actual building that's in the WB set that's used. Um, so here I'm putting on the mansard roofing and it's actually a green shingle and I was having a bit of trouble here finding one that didn't get skewed on that diagonal one because they have a tendency for the patterns to get stretched when it's on that. So um, I was just kind of looking around for the perfect green roof with that. Um, the Sims 4 is it's really good if you're trying to put in different architectural features and things like that you can get really detailed with things and I love that because it adds a lot of realism to the game and that's one thing that I've always just you know loved about The Sims is you know kind of getting away in this sort of self-created like alternate reality I just think it's neat because you can kind of, you know, live out to do things you wouldn't normally do or you could just, you know, create the perfect life for yourself and it's just always been so much fun. I've been a big Sims player ever since pretty much The Sims 1, you know, I had all those expansion packs and ever since I was, you know, just a little kid, so. I made sure to add the dormers on here because um, that was a very specific feature of um, the building that's on set. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure I added those and I thought it was a really good choice because it looked, it looked really accurate in the end, especially from the outside. Um, the doors and windows that were part of the Get to Work expansion pack were absolutely perfect for this because um, you know, there are four storefronts and things like that, which Luke's Diner is actually a renovated hardware store that his father used to own. So it does have the storefront to it. And they also kind of have a bit of a historic feel to them, which is perfect because that is where Luke's Diner is located. It's in the little town of Stars Hollow, and it's supposed to be a historic town in Connecticut. So... I really think a lot of the Sims 4 features that are available really go with some of the historic buildings that you can do. Um, with back here, you kind of see people on the show disappear, you know, through that archway. And they'll say that they're going to the bathroom or the storage room. And so I kind of had to use my imagination as to how that layout was back there. And, just kind of made it up as I went. I wanted to make sure that I got the the perfect color for in here too because there's so many times in the show that they focus on the paint color in Luke's whether it's Lorelai painting it or whether you know they're picking out different paint swatches or you know just little details like that that I wanted to make sure I included in here. I also realized that when I'm watching shows, I don't really pay attention to the flooring. So I kind of had to rely on a lot of stills and things like that for, you know, a reference for the flooring as to which one to use. And 
here, I, I made sure I used some of the open shelving, but I still wanted to be consistent with the blue counters that Luke actually has. Um, so I kind of mixed and matched with it, and I thought it turned out pretty well because the countertops are pretty much the same color as those open cabinets are. I wanted to make sure that I also put in the requirements for the actual running restaurant. That way this could actually be owned in game and it actually functions. I'm actually looking forward to playing in here and kind of being my own sort of Luke. You get to run your own diner. This was a bit tricky for me as well. Um, a lot of the tables in Luke's, they have a kind of 50s retro vibe and there's not very many tables available like that. They're either you know, really modern or they have a Victorian feel, but I couldn't really get that retro feel. So I made sure I included some of the red chairs with the chrome bottoms on them. That's kind of, you know, a shout out to that. Um, and I also made sure that I randomized both the tables and the chairs, which was difficult for me because I'm so used to making things match and kind of consistent. So, you know, just putting in random things was a bit, it was stepping out of the box for me, which is good. I sort of hop around a bit throughout the rooms um, because I would find different decorative items that I thought would be perfect for, you know, each different room and I wanted to make sure I put it in the build before I forgot about it or scrolled past it so I just went and threw it in the room and then I would come back and kind of um, reconfigurate some of it and I wanted to make sure that uh, Luke's didn't look too industrial so I decided not to go with that vent hood because it's just supposed to be kind of a small town diner and I didn't want it to look too commercial. I think it's really essential for things to look, you know, lived in and just really realistic with all these little bits and pieces and all the clutter items that they give you now. I just, I think it's awesome. And I think back to when I would build in The Sims 1 and I would literally just build this plain box and they didn't have any of these items so it probably just looked ridiculous but I still loved it. And I also love that little cake display there. It's almost like the one that Luke keeps the donuts in that Lorelai always steals from and helps herself to. So it's just kind of a little bit that I put in there that reminded me of the show and when I get to put those in, it, it makes me really happy because I'm, you know, it makes it so much more fitting for the show and the set. And I don't know, it just makes me feel, you know, pretty accomplished with it. <laughs> That's why I also included um, over by the busboy station, there are the bookshelves. And those are the ones that TJ, I like to say, he, those are the ones that he built for um, when he became a carpenter and was trying that out. And here I'm trying to pick out the window that Taylor had put in when Luke was on vacation. And that actually is supposed to look into Taylor's soda shop. But, you know, that other building is not there at the moment. And there's Luke daily special chalkboard up above the door frame. The kitchen was also something else I kind of just had to, you know, guess the layout of and, you know, just kind of make it up as I went and make it to where it actually fit the build pretty well. Again, I apologize for hopping all around and that caution sign there, I was so hoping that it was smaller than it was. I wasn't really sure until I actually put it out. Um, but it was a bit big, but uh, I was really wanting it for the no cell phone sign. And 
I don't use any custom content or I would totally go make my own no cell phone sign and put that in here because that is just one staple that I almost feel Luke's diner cannot go without but it is this time I'm just kind of adding some of the um, wall clutter around that Luke has in there I wanted to make sure um, number one that it wasn't you know really bright colored and modern um, but I also wanted to make sure it wasn't too expensive so if you do go to own this in the game it's not gonna you know cost you a fortune and I also tried to find um, the low kind of diner cafe curtains that go about halfway up the only ones that really seemed to fit were those little blue ones and they had flowers on them and no way would Luke ever put those in his diner. And here, um, I always use the move objects on cheat. Um, it just makes it to where you can place things a bit more naturally and it just looks more realistic. And I know I keep saying that, but I think that's, you know, key to a good build. Um, but I also noticed um, if you're trying to place things on the top of the cabinets, if you move the counter that's below it, you kind of get more of a range of motion for where you want to place things on the top. And then you just put it back and it seems to, you know, work good. But typically it'll want to snap to the counter below, so I just move it out of the way. And I think I'm almost done with the actual diner portion. Now I'm going to move ahead to the bathrooms. And um, I kind of wanted to steer clear of anything with like stalls and things like that. Because that just seemed a bit too um, commercial. And it, it's too big of a bathroom for such a small diner. So there's a men's restroom and a women's restroom. <clears throat> And so I kind of just, you know, lightly furnish those, put a plant in each, and kind of called it done. I didn't want to get, you know, too fancy with them. You never really see the inside of them, and they're not really, you know, used a, a crazy amount. And now we're moving upstairs and I'm furnishing the apartment. Um, you can actually live in this if you're playing in the game. Um, what I've done before is I bought just an empty residential lot and then I bought the commercial lot or the community lot, whichever um, you know, you're gonna build your either store or restaurant on. And then since this has um, all the amenities and things for living in, you pretty much never have to go home and you can just run your store or your restaurant right out of the building that you live in. And that seemed to work well for me. I had a retail once in one of my plays. The only thing I had to get used to with that um, down where you can push like the go home button it'll send you back to your residential lot and I kept hitting that at first and it was frustrating me but um, you just kinda have to learn that if you ever want to travel home you actually have to travel to your community lot instead of just fast clicking the go home button And I was trying to keep this, you know, with a lot of the rustic wood look that Luke actually has up in his apartment. Um, I think The Sims 4 has a lot of great furnishings that kind of went with this look. So, it, you know, it wasn't hard to pick anything out to actually put in here. A lot of the stuff, you know, coordinated really well. And it was just so fitting as I was going through when I would you know, pick out that a certain piece of furniture, I would know exactly when I had the match I was looking for. I tried to keep things, you know, a bit on the, the rustic side as well for Luke, and it's pretty plain up here too, but 
I just figure he's so busy running his diner, diner, he never really has, you know, much time to sit around and decorate and things. Oh, and also a note, if you're going to live here, the front door for the living area, which in this, it would be right um, at the top of the steps. You want to make sure that you lock that to allow the household only or else um, patrons and guests to your restaurant will actually wander up into your house but if the door is locked they won't be able to get in and it works out perfect <laughs> and like I said when I was down in the basement I really wanted to make sure I didn't pick anything that was you know too girly or anything like that um, this area here is actually where um, Luke's daughter, April, would maybe stay or even Jess once they had expanded. So I kind of just kept this, you know, nice and simple in case, you know, you play it and you do have a kid or anything like that. You know, you can kind of customize it a bit more to them. And there never really was a lot of, you know, furnishing in there in the first place. So... I was looking through all the activity stuff here and none of it I could think, you know, hey, this is Luke or, you know, Luke plays the guitar because he doesn't really. I mean, he cooks, so there's his kitchen. But <laughs> other than that, I mean, I couldn't really pick out anything that was, oh, hey, this is definitely Luke. Um, I, I did find um, a little bin and they always, that one right there, they always remind me of the ones that you would kind of take camping and things. So that is something that Luke does and I thought that was pretty fitting. And I actually think we're coming up on the end of the video now. Um, I want to apologize for any little background noise that I have. My three-year-old son is very excited about his Lego game. Um, and I just want to thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the build. Um, it will be available up on the Sims 4 Gallery with the hashtag Luke's Diner, and it's under the username KimmyLou723. I just want to say thank you again for joining me on my very first YouTube video. Um, it's been a blast making it, and I hope to make a lot more in the future. So I hope to see you guys soon. And have a wonderful day and take care.